Good evening everyone, my name is Paul Young. I'm just going to walk you through how you can build schedules in Cognos Controller that may include movement accounts. Now, I won't get into all the definition around movement account other than saying this is where we can track activity changes between the beginning and ending balances as part of the account structure. A lot of companies do this for specific accounts where they want to know what's happening in terms of the activity. That activity actually can be used as part of building cash flow or other ways to do some analysis. And that's what I'm going to kind of illustrate within Cognos Controller here. So you need to take a step back and look at your accounts. Now, I, at this point in time, I won't stress whether it's integrated or non-integrated accounts other than the company is using integrated accounts to track the movement. So this particular case, we're looking at the role identifier, and this is where we're breaking out basically the movement accounts. And that's where you're seeing opening balance, 0, 0110 extensions, 0, 020 extension, 0, 030 extension, and the closing balance. So basically that's where all the stuff is going to get loaded in in terms of produced by controllers part of the calculation. Now, we then want to identify what accounts we want to assign in terms of movement accounts. So this particular case I'm fo focusing on tangible assets and basically they're using the same movement extensions therefore that's okay to kind of pull them in in terms of the role identifier across these accounts so I want to break it out. And that's what you're seeing here in the role uh, definition. Now, what you can do is this gets put into it, and as you can see, the gray out areas are basically summary amounts that basically are calculated. So basically, you can do different things and move things around within this report that kind of get the formatting. So you can play around with the itself as part of the formatting, as part of building the schedule that you may be using as part of your month in reporting. This also now this shows you basically working capital now is another area so the first one I showed you was like a tangible assets this one now is looking at aging a lot of companies like to load in their accounts receivable accounts payable or different types of aging as part of presenting information to be used as part of DSL calculations or some sort of KPI I created another one where basically the stress is more looking at accounts payable accounts receivable because those things have similar aging buckets like current over 30 over 60 over 90 over 120 and that's what you're seeing here in terms of things now this particular case is not necessarily an integrated account in a way right because we're really only concerned about the summary of balance of how this is going to roll in so basically we're just tying this into uh, a summary total as part of balancing it out as part of you know when you're trying to reconcile the balance and make sure everything agrees I predict particular accounts here you see the accounts receivable and accounts payable part of identifying so now when you look at when you go into Cognos controller and run this report part of the forms you'll actually see the accounts receivable rolling up into a balance down there that's being reported in part of your building your schedules now the reason why I want to stress this is this is an option for people that want to kind of work with movement accounts to kind of build different schedules that kind of see how you can do it within Cognos controller now as I said there's different types between non integrated and integrated so that's you need to be familiar with that I didn't stress the differences between the two it was more just to show you how you can build something with Cognos controller thank you